He's worked on The Simpsons and Saturday Night Live. He brought The Office to an American audience. He co-created Parks and Recreation and King of the Hill. And now Greg Daniels has turned his attention to the afterlife. His vitals are dropping. We're losing him. Do we really want to upload? We could be together forever. You are so amazing. But forever is just like so long. Uploads that way, ORs the other way. What do you want to do? Three, two, one, upload. Wait a sec, I hear some of you saying, Greg Daniels, I know that name. Him and Michael Schur, they created Parks and Recreation together, didn't they? Yes, you're right. And then Michael Schur went on to make The Good Place, didn't he? Yes, he did. And that's about the afterlife, isn't it? Yes, it is. And so this is about the afterlife as well. Yes, it is. But it's a different show. Yes, it is. But it's good. Yes, it is. Now, it's hard if you know the background, which you now do, to not compare The Good Place with Upload because obviously the creators have worked together before and the themes on the face of it are quite similar. But as we all know, comedy has been going to the afterlife for laughs for a very long time. So I think it's best to try and look at this in its own way rather than trying to compare like for like. Okay, so what's Upload about? Well, it's 2033 and technology has moved to the beautiful place where you are able to upload yourself when you die to a digital afterlife. You get the choice of where you go and if you've got enough money, you can go to Lakeview, which is a beautiful afterlife on the face of it. And that is where Nathan ends up going after he dies very young in a car accident. Hello, Nathan. 10 fingers and toes? Pretty seamless. This is the first day of the rest of your afterlife. You may find yourself living in a beautiful house. Cool. Welcome to Lakeview. Uplifting views, timeless Americana. Yes. It's 10 a.m. Breakfast is over. No, it's not even real food. But just as in life, the afterlife isn't always simple, especially when you have a controlling and wealthy girlfriend like Ingrid, who is pulling strings from the other side of the digital divide. That means that Lakeview isn't necessarily the place that Nathan hoped it would be. And after time, quite quickly, he becomes very depressed. And he even considers Virtuicide, which you'll know is the digital equivalent of suicide. Now within this world there are human contacts that cross that divide between digital heaven and the real world and Nathan comes into contact with quite a few of these on a regular basis. He has a customer support agent who he starts to build a relationship with and that becomes an important part of the story as it goes on. And another quite interesting area is the therapist that he is assigned who has the digital avatar of a Labrador but is indeed a man sitting at a desk talking to him through a headphone. All calls, of course, are recorded in Lakeview for training and monitoring purposes. You little cutie. So I understand you were in a bad place yesterday. Uh, it's only weird if you make it weird. Now, this is a comedy and it's about the afterlife, so don't be offended if there are jokes on that theme. However, a lot of this is about 2033 and technology, and you don't have to think very far back to perhaps uh, the year 2022 to see where a lot of these jokes are coming from. This is about technology being out of control. This is about issues of privacy. This is about how we live with technology around us and how AI and robots and all of the things that we see in our world today could end up affecting us in the future. And yeah, it does sound a bit like Black Mirror parts of this, and there are bits of it that do have that feel to it. It's not as dark as Black Mirror, and it's far more of a comedy and less kind of dystopian. But there are elements like people rating each other like Uber drivers for one night stands that are reminiscent of Black Mirror episodes like Nosedive, which incidentally was written for the television by Michael Schur and Rashida Jones, who Michael Schur, of course, co-created Parks and Rec with Greg Daniels, and Rashida Jones was in Parks and Rec. 
Now season one of Upload came out in 2020, but I think it passed under the radar for a lot of TV fans. A lot was going on in 2020. And now season two has just come out. Now although season one I think is a really good concept and really well put together, it's got a strongly performance from Robbie Amell, season two is even better. So I think this is a show that you want to give some time to and let yourself go into the world of and then you will really start to enjoy Upload. Both season one and season two of Upload are available to watch on Amazon Prime Video right now. So what are you waiting for? Go and beam yourself in. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not hit that like button and subscribe to the channel? We have plenty more show reviews, best lists and things to watch on your favorite streaming platforms if you check out all the videos on Screen OD. So until next time, we'll see you.